WLA Weekly, I'm your host, Ty Campbell, here in beautiful Victoria, British Columbia. There may only be two games to schedule this past week, but it was a very busy week. Their trade deadline was on Sunday night, and on Tuesday morning, the Langley Event Center held a press conference. We're going to head right now. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jared Harmon. I'm the Director of Business Development here at the Langley Event Center. On behalf of the facility, uh, myself and my colleague, Jamie Rennie, the Director of Facility Operations, I'd like to officially welcome the Vancouver Stealth to the Langley Event Center and to the province of British Columbia. This is a historic and exciting day for the National Lacrosse League. Uh, the NLL is back in British Columbia. It's extremely uh, a proud day today to, uh, to welcome the Vancouver Stealth to the Langley Event Center and to the Township of Langley. We are proud to uh, host uh, the Vancouver Stealth. I know that the Vancouver Stealth are, are going to find a, a welcoming home here in the Township of Langley and it's going to be a benefit to the entire region uh, throughout the Vancouver, uh, Metro Vancouver area and also all the way up Abbotsford, Chilliwack and I know our neighbours to the south of the border who are, who are uh, great fans of the Stealth will be uh, coming up to visit us on those uh, game nights and we certainly welcome you and we wish the Stealth all the success and, uh, and good luck. Thank you. The City of Langley receiving a National Lacrosse team from Washington. What that means to the City of Langley and the Thunder, that coming up in the upcoming weeks on WLA Weekly. On Sunday night it was the WLA trade deadline and a lot of deals were made including a blockbuster one that was made at the last minute. However, the Lakers opened up their trading deadline by trading Richard Leachin to the San Bellies return for the ninth round draft pick in 2014. The Timberman then made a deal with the Coquitlam Adonacs where it sent Ryan Keith and Mike Burkoff for Jimmy Delaney and a, round, a fourth round pick in 2014. And the blockbuster deal that snuck in at the last minute, Adonacs send Dane Doobie, Damon Edwards and Nick Rose to the Thunder for Braden Goodwin, Matt McGrady and Thunder's third round draft pick. However, prior to all those trades, the Langley Thunder kicked off the week Facing the Quilt Mattanax, Jake Elliott has the call. And penalty successfully killed off, and here comes Iannucci with the post move. Double team coming from Wilson. Iannucci wants to feed out to Turner. He's got some room, and he scores! A bounce shot, short side, under the glove of Nick Rose, and we're tied up at one as Iannucci fed his best buddy Alex Turner out of the penalty box. Looks like he's changed the head on his stick. Was well, going with the blue one. Now he's got the white one. Here's Turner, who's got the black one. Turner over the top, shoots and scores as he bounces one far side this time. Harnett runs into a double team, looking for a call, not going to get one. He lost his stick. Here comes Iannucci on the run, feedback to Goodwin. Shovel shot, shoots and scores as Goodwin. Back in a whack from Harnett. Belton will skip it across to Turner, loads, fires down to Iannucci. Quick stick into the open goal, power play marker for the Thunder. And a beautiful setup from Turner down to Iannucci, who both have three points on the evening. Turner weaving back and forth, feet inside here. Shane Jackson shoots and scores. No fake on that one. Set up from Turner again. Jackson thought about the backdoor cut, wasn't open on Harnett. Jackson feet inside. Iannucci scores. Into the corner for Krzyzewski, eight on the shot clock, cutting is Goodwin. Goodwin scores! A bounce shot through the five hole. And the second and final game of the week has seen the Shamrocks visiting the Nanaimo Timberman at Frank Craterina without captain Scott Ranger. Ranger or not, the Shamrocks prove why they have the number one team in the Western Lacrosse Association. Through 40 minutes, it was a close game, but a rough one as Paul Brubber dropped the gloves with Garrett Harnett and the WLA Weekly judges draw it as a tie. And it just got rougher in the third. Ex-Shamrock Braden Kamita dropped the mitts with Jeff Shatler. The WLA Weekly judges claimed Kamita as the winner of the fight. However, through all of that, the Shamrocks would pull away with a 15-9 victory. And with that, the standings follows. The Victoria Shamrocks lead the way now with 16 points. Maple Ridge and Langley tied with 12. Behind them is Burnaby with 10. Tied with 9 are New Westminster Sandbellies and Quidlam Adonax, both with 9 each. And the 9 will turn in the back of the pack with 8. Thank 
watching this edition of WLA Weekly. I'm your host, Tally Campbell. In the upcoming weeks of WLA Weekly, we'll look at what the National Lacrosse League team means in Langley and more. For all your local sports, keep it right here locked to VSBN.ca.